Hey guys, so I'm starting today's look off with a primed face and primed eyelids. I'm going into my Coastal Sense eyeshadow called Paprika, taking it on the BH Cosmetics brush and just going ahead and fluffing it into the crease area. For my lid shade, I go in with this Coastal Sense eyeshadow called Peachy Copper. You can see here that I tried to apply it with two different brushes and unfortunately I just wasn't getting the pigmentation that I wanted. So I end up going in with my MAC Fix Plus and spraying my brush. And yes, there's the color that I am looking for. So I keep on patting that into my eyelids and just make sure that I have the desired intensity. So unfortunately I forgot to show you guys this eyeshadow but it is another Coastal Sense eyeshadow and this one is in the color Light Taupe. I take it on my Beach Cosmetics crease brush again and I just put it directly into the crease and I don't take it up any higher. Next I follow up the look with a pink eyeshadow and this is from the BH Cosmetics Party Girl palette. I start to apply that to the outer edges of my eyelids and just make an outer V shape. Then because it was not giving me the desired look, I go back in and mix it with that red color and then we have the nice pinkish reddish tone which again I'm just building up on the outer edge almost like I'm making an outer V but I don't take it all the way out because I go in with another matte brown shadow later on in the tutorial So now it's time to make that outer V. So I go back into the BH Cosmetics Party Girl palette and just grab that matte brown eyeshadow. And you can see I'm using the Just Up crease brush and I'm just going ahead and building up the outer V area slowly. And I don't want a very, very dark look. So that is why I chose to use a lighter brown eyeshadow rather than a darker brown eyeshadow. In order to give me that sharp look to my eye look, I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal and I'm just applying this to the outer edges of my eyes and I'm just going right along with that outer V shape that I had made already. And all I'm doing here is just using a nice padding motion to make sure that that concealer just blends in very nicely. Another thing that I want to note here is you need to make sure that this concealer is the color of your skin tone and you want to make sure that you have the right color just to ensure that there's not going to be any highlighted or halo effect going on underneath the eyeshadow. In order to give this look more of a pop, I go with NYX's Pearl Mania Pigments and this is either in the color light purple or lilac, I'm sorry. But the labeling has unfortunately rubbed off. But yeah, I just basically I spray my brush with Fix Plus and apply that to the inner corners of my lid. For my top lashes, I'm using the cult favorite Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Absolutely love this guy and I find myself reaching for it so much. And for my bottom lashes, I actually use a different mascara, which is the Maybelline Great Lash. I use this just simply because the wand of this mascara has a thinner tip, which allows me to get into the eyelashes a lot better on the bottom. So you can see here that I'm really just taking my time and building up that mascara on the bottom lashes to give a nice, vibrant look. For the lower lash line, I'm using the same colors from the BH Cosmetics Party Girl palette, taking that on a deep finer brush from Jessup Cosmetics, and I'm just going to run that along my lower lash line. I'm also making sure to connect that eyeshadow with the outer V. Now for the face. 
For today, I'm going to be using a foundation from The Body Shop, and this is their Extra Virgin Minerals Foundation. And as you can see, my hand is going super fast. I decided to kind of just speed through this because you guys have seen me apply foundation many times now, and I didn't feel that I needed to show it. But yeah, I more or less just wanted to let you guys know exactly what I'm using on my face rather than just skip over it on a whole. I did forget to show you guys, but eventually at the end of putting everything on, I did use my Black Opal Invisible Oil Blocking Powder to set everything and lock it in. So you guys can see that I basically was just jamming out in my previous clip, but of course moving on to the next part of this tutorial, I'm using my e.l.f. liquid eyeliner to line my eyes and I'm just slowly building up the eyeliner on the edges there and then just filling them in at the corner to make the wing. I'm lining my lips with this NYX lip liner and this is in the color bloom and I'm just getting it ready for a nice pink pout. The lipstick I chose to go with today was Maybelline's Fuchsia Flash so I'm just going ahead and applying that and making sure it blends nicely with the lip liner as well. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of this look, guys. Check out these pictures if you want to see the complete look of how everything turned out. And until next time, we'll see you later.